let's get to work. So today's going to be an interesting one. Uh, we're going to be doing a commission job for the SOG Prairie Fire community that we're going to be running this weekend. It's going to be play off of Oscar 8, which is going to be very, very interesting. I basically need to take the Oscar 8 mission, which I always know as a bit of a hellhole, <laughs> and uh, turn it into something insane. So the question becomes, how am I going to do that based off of the AO given? So I'm going to look over some of my notes from a conversation I had. And then we have all this area here. One second. My music didn't refresh. There we go. And... Yeah... It's meant to be the most challenging one to date to infiltrate a hatchet force and in this case two hatchet force platoons into the oscar area via helicopter to attempt to kill or capture vip giap and oscar eights uh all over encountered okay so this is a vip pin down so I'm not going to stream where I put the VIP. But I basically need to make this fortified hell. And I need to do it with the least amount of assets possible, but at the same time, give things an in. All right. So I, honest to God, need layered defenses at that point then. Oh, and this is definitely going to push the maximum amount of AI that I can have on the damn server. I think we're going to mainly run defensive AI, though. I'm not going to have a lot of moving AI. It's just going to be a lot of garrisons and whatnot, so that should all theoretically work. Oh, but when you look at something like this, it's like, where do we even start? But I think I know. Let's just go with standard NVA infantry. I'm gonna need turrets also open. All right. Oh, this is where funny, the funny thing is going to be is just balancing all these AI out because good freaking God. And I guess making things look fortified, but actually making them uh, balanced would be the best way to put it. going position to position here. I really don't like putting units in these bunkers because they have such limited sight lines, but we'll at least put one or two in. And then definitely machine gunner up high. I think the best thing to also do is to not overcrowd the AI too. So we'll do them in groups of like 20 to 30. And then I might also add to this arm here. And that way we can just balance out all the subsections. I'm going to have to really limit a few different things though to make sure the balancing gets set proper. That shouldn't be too, too hard. Uh, but we're going to have a lot of mission dev today. Uh, we're going to have a 
Tuesday operation. It's going to be another training op. It's going to be a really interesting one. I haven't pulled something on the player base uh, like what we're going to pull in a hot second. So I'm I'm excited for it personally. But not nah, today's just going to be a bunch of mission dev and uh, that one stream and then making everything else work in the best of our ability. All right, I want you guys to help me keep a count, though. So this is, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's nine AI and one static. Please keep track of that for me, because I am not. OK, it's going to be 10 AI now, because I just found this spot, and this spot's awesome. The trick about making a really difficult op is not bottlenecking the AI to the point you have so much stuff down, but rather the perfect balance of AI that uh, the AI will uh, still be active and not bottlenecked by running too many calculations through a limited CPU. All right, so that's 10 AI. I'm just trying to think, should we... Do I want to layer it internally and push out, or do I want... I think it would be easier if we had the hardest garrisons on the front. That way we can then supplement with spawning in new units and making them... Um, or reinforcing them in real time. So the outer border is good. Um, we need some more outer border stuff in case they bring things around. But then we need the other outer border on the other side to be partially fortified as well. And I'm going to need to make a minefield in here to cover that properly, but definitely like an outer position here as well. So let's go ahead. Let's put them all in these positions first so I can then unifyingly crouch them down. Or even worse, I could prone them. And then as soon as they land, I can... Oh, that would be a freaking massacre. Oh, that would be... That would be evil. And then boom, you stand everything up. And then hell begins. I... They do have the little shoot slit right here, actually, so I'll crouch them down. But yeah, I only want to use fortified positions here. So yeah, no, I might actually just prone these guys. I don't think I'm going to put anything in the bunkers here because... Like, the stuff over here I will do as well, but the ones right here, I mean, these are kind of, like, purposefully put here. It's kind of weird. Like, they're intending for this to be, like, an LZ jump, but I don't like it. And I'll put a few out here. Just some SKSs. Let's see, that is another 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we're up to 25 AI. We're going to prone them and we're going to pathing disable them, keep them in place. But we can then stand them up at our leisure and put them in. That's going to be the real fun part. Other borders wise. I think we should put something around right here. Probably an eight man garrison. Six to eight. just as a bit of a picket line. But then again, looking at the fortifications here, I might only need just a handful. 
because a lot of these just seem to be uh, punji steaks and whatnot. Oh, I do have a second line of units here. All right. I'm going to keep these guys crouched. That way, if the choppers land, they'll start plinking at them and they'll fold the cover. And then I'm standing up the rest of... Oh, that's evil. That's evil. I love it. All right, so we're at 25, 26, 20, 29. I want them to be under a different control group. And then that control group will extend to over here. As a second line of defenses, that'll immediately start planking at forces. I think that's a great call. I want to limit the Grenadier use as well, because Grenadiers can be very, very OP. That's another four, so we're going to be at 33 now for AI count. And I want to limit statics on the front, because statics can also be very, very deadly. Because it's a perfectly stabilized weapon platform, and you better believe that the AI are going to be abusive with that. Alright, so 33. 34. Thirty-five. Ah, uh, no, we'll have him to crouch. So that's going to be an internal defense line on the southern side, and then I need to have another section on the northern side for more lines of fortifications. But again, this can just be the strong arm on front, and then we immediately have more forces come in. We actually have two more slots right here. So, you know, be Liru being the wonderfully nice and balanced Zeus that he is, is just going to put two more down <laughs> for the ambush. That's 37. I could put more AI on fortification, but... Again, we gotta we gotta branch things out. We do have this cache right here, so I'm gonna have two stand in AI. That's gonna bring us up to 39. Yeah, because in this mission, we'd always move by this position. It was never fortified, and it's like, why does this exist? Why is it here? And you got this defensive line up here, but again, you'd never go to it, but this is where more stuff is set up in caches. So, 39. 40. 41. 42. 42. I'm going to be honest, his tower is kind of useless because he does not really have... Well, let's actually put him down. I stand corrected. All right. He actually does have pretty good sight lines right there. 43. 44. 45. Send in GOAT Team 6. 46. Now. Kill em all LCPL operator <laughs> Chan Death Destruction and Wawa Wawa. 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 <laughs> Biggie Dums, thanks for the 19 month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, broski, and I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. 
I just realized I think they replaced this mission with some like physical bunkers here because I don't see any of the bunkers we would normally run up and take. Which is kind of interesting. What were we at? 46. I want to put a guy up in that one tower, so it's going to be 47. Chat, help me out. Am I off by one? What mistake did you make, Dante? And how is my hind? Is it okay? Is it safe? <laughs> it's probably blown to smithereens. Alright, 47. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah, it's totally fine, right? Yeah, it's okay. He crashed. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'm making this an AA position, but it's going to start empty. It got shot down, but you saved it. <laughs> Good enough. All right, lower layer. Are there even any defenses we can put down here? It looks like there are, but this is kind of nice. We can just space them out. I can be a jerk and make most of them just have purely automatic weapons. Puts us to 49. 50. Thought I clicked something else in there. I don't need 18 right there. 51. Check your DMs when you have a chance. You just <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. It looks delicious, though. <laughs> All right, I think we're still at 51. And if this is going to be spaced out that much, let me see if there's anything further back. Fifty-two. Some isolated tree snipers also wouldn't be a bad call. Fifty-three. But hell, I'd, I'd do it that way too if I could, Dante, you know? <laughs> Improvise, adapt, overcome. 52. Group that all up. It's so hot. <laughs> Occasionally flying around, checking for more bunkers. I'll turn that into an AA position. I probably want to put a mortar position up here. <clears throat> Excuse me, for locality's sake. 
but now I need to put defensive lines around this position. So... 53... 54... Fifty-five. I'm going to start with everywhere around here that I need to crouch down. Fifty-six. But no, they definitely have some added bunkers around here, which is kind of funny. Uh, let's not do an SVD. Let's just do a base cast KS. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Sixty. Crouch him down. Put him down. Honestly, for a garrison, I think that's fine. Short range, 60 millimeter position. Put some sandbags around them. That's going to be three round pieces around. Set it to a 45 divider angle. Because I don't think they have any recolor. I mean, I could do the green ones too. Oh shit, wait, that actually immediately retextured. Neat. Now let's do those then. And then, just real quick, if I were to... Where does he go? On the left side? Okay, so I just had to make sure there's room for him. Or I can just make these wider. That's my short-range artillery position. Alright, we're at 60 AI. We've got... Now we're starting to get into the back end here. And then we're going to need some internal security. Oh. I think my budget's going to be 125 AI for this one, but I'm trying to make it as close to just, you know, 100 as I can. But grouping all these up is going to make things difficult. I also need to definitely have some vehicles down in certain positions to help lock things down themselves. And then I need to go in, put some punji stakes down in certain areas. Ale was fine, just shaking up a bit. Good, 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 good. All right, so if we're going parallel now to this position, should be good, because this is all supposed to be just uh, stretched out anyway. I can always add a few tree snipers, but let's start adding everything back here. So this is a standing position. So let's do standing positions for 61, 62, and now that we're deeper in, I can also do statics again. So do I want a vehicle here or a static? Let's do a vehicle. Sixty-three. Turn the rotation widget off. Sixty-four. And I think that's good. Let's just group everything up. Oh, we got another few positions right here. Yeah, this will work. 
Let's get all these grouped up. Standing path. I need a very more type 56 in here. I'm using too many AKs. 66. Giggity. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight. Mines, we'll get to that later. All right, 67 on that outbound side. And yeah, we'll have some coverage over here. Definitely need to bury some tree snipers, but we can, we can make all that work. It's just the internal area is the one I'm worried about, but we got some nice areas here to put some of our own vehicles and whatnot as well. It's just the core areas like these are actually not going to be that well garrisoned. I'm going to be, once they, you know, breach past most of that infantry and start coming into here, we're going to have more uh, path of AI instead. And then, like, this is only going to be partially filled. This one I want fully filled because that's, like, the extending arm. But all right, with all that set... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna be on the ground. Um, I'm debating either squad leading or just taking whatever role. Because I know for a fact we're not gonna have full attendance for that one, so I might just, you know, take whatever role is left behind that people don't want to take and just play on the ground, you know? Because I don't want to keep putting myself above my own community. Uh, I did it, I did early slotting for, um, the three trial ops last month, but that's because I needed to be in a certain position to properly showcase it. 68, by the way. Um, no. No, no, I was, I was memeing about 66 on 69. All right, 68. But I want to, uh, keep that all going. I'm thinking, actually, let's switch the ZPU out for something right here instead. And then let's grab the other, the smaller one. The single barrel. We'll put that over here. Um... I'm blanking on where the hell it is. Also, I shouldn't have made my infantry disappear. Uber. I want one of these. Smack dab in the center. Honestly, do I need more than... I can just put one AI up in the top, so let's just do a, uh, an AK gunner. Let's just do some standing, random standing AI around. Alright, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, this one I will take a marksman though. These guys are basically to prevent that flank around and turn this into a kill zone. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Definitely want this guy right here to stop anything that pushes around because he's that forward piece at that point. Seventy-five. 
this is where you're going to see just the choice of not taking every position, rather putting guys where they need to be in the right spots. Because now we have this internal line here and a bunch of additional fortifications on that layer, so... 75... And I'll keep him standing so he can uh, overwatch over that position. Ooh, I'm sorry to hear, Colonel. That's rough, buddy. All right, 76. 77. 78. 79. Hold on one second. Those guys I want standing, these two I want crouching. Static will keep him in place. Alright, now we're dealing with internal areas here. Oh boy. 82. 83. 84. Those old feet on the coast. 85. 86. 87. 88. 89. Actually, you should really be a part of this group. static right here. 90. 91. Anything else to really fortify? No. I could put an internal piece right here. Uh, PP, yeah. All right, 91. Ah, uh, now we got to do the border stuff. But I want to put them all in Overwatch positions anyway. So we'll probably empty out at about 110 based off of the angles here, but this is where we can also start getting really heavy with statics. So, 92. Five, but this guy I'm going to link up to that group instead. Ninety six. Ninety 
Anything else on an Overwatch vector is that good? I think that's good. It's a small garrison, but it'll work out. And then over here is going to be interesting. 97... 98... 99... 100. One oh one one oh two. I'm not going to crew those. All right, 102 garrisoned AI. We're going to add a few more with well placed vehicles and whatnot again, probably bring us to 120, 125. Um, I'm not, normally I like to do truck garrisons as well to show how the forces got here. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be very defensive about the amount of frames I have. But how I've carved up the AI groups, I think is going to be fine. For this one. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shot. Again, I could, I could garrison 200 AI in here easy, but... Again, I'm just worried about the server at that point. And then another thing I'm debating is tracker systems. Of uh, putting a big oval right here and then just having AI go in. But I'm really worried about their pathfinding causing frame issues. That would have to be something that's tested. Now, with all that done, trying to think what we need here. Turn nachos into tacos. Man, I kind of want that now. Well, I think Bloodway and I were just doing leftovers tonight. She made a really good, uh... Here, I'll send it to you, Dante, one second. This is what we had last night. Some uh, pasta linguine mixed with some caprese sausage and spinach, and it was quite delicious. Bloodway knows how to whip up a good meal, and I absolutely love her for that. Oh shit, that has AAs on it. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be easier if we set these on camo. And then, do you have a side door gunner? Yes, you do, okay. We'll set those up to take off later, but now we need to be a little crafty with a few vehicles. I don't want to overdo it, but there's like two or three spots where I do want to put down a Vic. And then there is also another place I want to put some guns here. We're going to do one there. And then the big boy gun trying to think actually we can do another one yeah that one's a little too deep of a divot because in the actual oscar a mission i think there's an aa gun over here that needs to be taken out but nah we're into lee reverse sucker besides i like those single shotguns they're a little more balanced Used to be the quad AA unloaded like five rounds in your helicopter and you exploded i think they've balanced it out a bit more now so it takes a your you wait. Either they do less damage. I think they actually do less damage now because they also don't immediately eviscerate infantry anymore. Which, not gonna lie, was always kind of funny to watch. Never to be fun on the receiving end, but hey, it happens. Needs to be a PT-76 because the T-7, yeah, the T-54 and 55s are OP as shit right now. 
So I'll do this one because it also has the turnout turret. I want to be a jerk. It's going to add a few more AI, but again, the the more the pull is going to be from the fact that it's a vehicle. So I put this in here, but I also want to put another vehicle down here. Probably a standing Dishka truck would be my preferred thingamajig to do. Or... Now nah, that's evil. Have a few vehicles situated around, take their fuel away so they don't go, oh, I'm going to drive away now. And then we got our heli depot. I would love an 81 millimeter mortar emplacement just back here. So, you know, I have backups to weapon systems that... Oh, baby. It's my secret weapon. real quick. Uh, I'm trying to think, did I save this yet? No, I haven't. Let's give it a quick save then. Any horror ops planned? Uh, I've already got one commission boxed in for October, but I am looking to make some more October commissions. Uh, there will be some in my community as well. There's a Friday the 13th also coming up. I have to make some for that, so we'll, we'll see. Um... Twenty auto saves kicking in, and then let's see. Mission. Just gotta go into that folder, and now I need to find. What was the last one we did? Actually, I don't really think it matters. I can just, I can just take our files and put them in. Paste that. All right, let's have a look-see. Because I think the only thing I need to build on top of that is uh, the roster. And then figure out how I'm going to stretch this to maybe, like, beyond 60 minutes, but no more than two hours. There's no way in hell it's going to go to two hours. I could fortify that chunk of land all I wanted, and there's no way in hell that's going to last more than two hours. Uh, Duke, I don't know. Just built different. Oh, man. It's always when I'm streaming, too. That's when everyone decides to DM me. <laughs> and it's like, bro, when I'm not streaming, I barely get anything. Like one or two people at most. But while I'm streaming, then the massive influx of people comes in. It's like, bruh, please. All right. 
So nothing's clipping. No units are running around. So I'm curious here. What is this going to look like? Give me some... Uh... Standing by. Standing by. Ready. Ready for orders. Oh no. So they can shoot through those. Alright. Alright. This is why I test. So that group needs to be set to a careless hold fire, and then I decide when I want to put them on crouch and yadi da but these two were engaging which is good because i want that outer thing to engage to force them to start running up to those positions but they see through those towers okay so again this is just to bait them but let's start actually carving our ai here uh not our ar ao wrong term Question is <laughs> Oh boy. So this is to simulate QRF coming in and tracking them up to this zone. But they won't go further than that. I'm going to wean that back a little bit. That's going to create quite the mess.
Yeah, I don't like that color contrast, actually. Let's, uh... No, it's still too on the red side of things. shows the border a bit better. And then I guess I'll stage them from over here then to go back and forth. Because that's the closest LZ and I want to be able to uh, continuously get people back into the fight. We could also do this airbase, but then they'll have to hook it around. That keeps them away from the AA. But let me also do a quick sanity check and send a picture to Nem. Yeah, I gotta change out that green. Or the gray. I'll put it as a green. Because when you work with clients, you wanna... Show them progress every step of the way, yadi da. Make sure everyone's on the same page so there's no surprises on up there. Like, I wanted you to make a convoy escort mission. Why is this a VIP capture mission? It's like, bruh. We had a meeting. You gave me what you wanted. Yeah. So I'm gonna lie to him and say, yeah, that's the carpet bombed area. You know, there shouldn't be any enemies there. We, we uh, clearly murdered most of them. <laughs> And there should be nothing wrong at all. Yeah, it just, to me, it makes no sense to put guys in these fortifications um, just because they should be facing the other way. It's literally just a box in this LZ, and I don't want to, I want to also give the players a position to run and get to cover and then fight from, but then they'll have to deal with any tracker units that are coming in from the other side. So, oh, it works. Works out. Anyway, uh, I promised mines, right? All right, let's, uh, it's mine time. Now, it would be a really, really dick move for me to mine LZ. So I'm not. I want to, but I'm not. That would be too mean. But we can mine the area around the LZ. Yeah. Some nice punji steaks. Mm-hmm. We can, uh, you know, put some stuff on the immediate borders on the uh, farthest sides. Yeah. I like the whip because, watch this, we were to look at all of them. This one's fun. I'm going to be doing that one in a few spots if I can find the spot. But, yeah, you just... This is really... Let, let's be honest. This is impossible to spot properly. I get what it's going for. It's meant to be a thing of false grass that you then fall through and then, you know, the punchy stakes hit you. But from a balance standpoint, these are kind of unfair. All right? But the stuff where, like, we put traps down and whatnot, the side whips, it's all fair to me because you can spot that and go, oh, that's a tripwire, you know? And, yeah, real life, blah, 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 but it, I like to be fair and balanced in my shit, all right? No matter what my haters might say, I like to have things be fair. Because I always try to imagine myself on the ground and go, all right, let's be honest, this is kind of <laughs> this is kind of unfair, guys. Like, damn, they're just getting absolutely massacred at this point. 
Actually, can I put one of those on, like, the tail, the side whip? How is this triggered? Because the tension's right here, so it, like, flexes out like this, but... What... What triggers the trap? There's no... I honestly have no idea how this is supposed to get triggered. Like, by this... Because this will fling out. Yeah, test it. You're right. When in doubt, test it. I put you here. Put you here. Ah! So it's supposed to be you step in front of it. Or are you supposed to go past it and then trip over it? supposed to walk past it. <laughs> ah, that was funny. Okay. All right. And then we'll just uh, set some more of these up. Because the thing is, as we get closer to the end, I'll be using more AI, and we're also going to have AI coming in. So the hard part now is where do I put traps? Like another line of traps over here is going to be fine. Especially around the cache sites. Punish any greedy GIs that try to take my superior Soviet AK supplies, right? I wish I was joking, but no, the AK is superior to the M16A1 in almost every freaking regard, but... Put some stuff around there. Because now it's a matter of, alright, where, where are AI going to come in? Where might we have problems down the road? We do have like we do have some fortifications right here I could put down, but I'm gonna be honest, 101 AI with an avalanche module coming in. 
Uh, if I need to box them in, I'll spawn something to box them in. But otherwise, I think we'll be okay. We'll put some more stuff down here. Because you got to remember, everything that I put down could potentially stop the Avalanche AI from coming in later. <laughs> Wait. Guys, 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 it's not a trap, okay? I promise, it's it's not a trap. Guys, it's it's totally not a trap. I mean, why why would it even be here, guy? It's just it's just a normal ladder. <laughs> yeah, you just you just crawl through it. It's okay. It's just it's decoration, I promise. It's not a trap. It's not a trap. And I think from there, that's all fine. I kind of find it funny that they're marking it as UXOs, but... <laughs> the Pungy Stakes are unexploded ordnance, guys. Don't worry about it. And I think from there, that's fine. Uh, if I were to do a cover map module... We knew that. I can even shrink it down. And then that should be fine. Of course, Nem just messaged me saying, I didn't think you'd be using that area. Because when you do commission jobs, it's also all about the client, too. Just making sure everything works. I'm going to send him a picture of that. Then we'll add the VIPs. I'll probably make them unarmed or find a way to, you know, get them captured. Wolf, why do you keep DMing me to hydrate? I am hydrating, broski. I'm not sure if you hear it, but that was another one, but... I've done that like five or six times, just a sip of water. But I am getting a little hungry, so I'll probably do... Because I need my other window open to see what the roster is and get things garrisoned accordingly. But we'll start making this area into the base. I gotta add respawn, triple R, all that other fun stuff. Oh, I freaking put another one down, my god. And then I want to talk with them, make sure that's all set to go, and then... I think I'm going to just do some basic bookkeeping work and uh, editing and uh, making sure the Xenonauts mission for tomorrow is set. Uh, and then we'll have the 4 o'clock stream, and then that might be it because then I have DND. And then after DND, we'll probably do some more mission dev. Right? Yeah, well, if I, I have a phone out, bro. It sends me all the Discord DMs. I do that just to make sure there's no random emergencies that come up. <laughs> But anyway, I'm probably going to wrap the stream up here uh, simply because, you know, the hard stuff's done now. It's just all the roster work, but I need to have uh, my menu open because I have to follow a specific roster. No, no, you're good, bro. Besides, I have to answer, like, what, seven other Discord DMs here anyway? <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Go operate operationally. We'll be back around 4 o'clock for the uh, training Zeus op. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. I can't, I can't emphasize that anymore. But otherwise, cheers, guys. Have a good one. Go operate operationally.